Uh, thank you, Carmen, for the introduction. I, I assume if Pledicity is introduced, or otherwise I will uh, uh, give a quick introduction of who we are. Um, I am Ikintan. I work for Pledicity, and it's my colleague. El Blanco. <laughs> uh, we are architects and urban planners, and uh, we are, um, I think, maybe the best way to present what we are doing is just show uh, the game in action. So we are a serious gaming company uh, based in Amsterdam and Istanbul. And what we do, uh, I think, is from the expressions you would see is uh, help local governments, communities, but also uh, other players uh, uh, in transition processes. So uh, when there is a process that is top down, uh, the model, the game model that we have developed does not work. But when people have to make choices together, when they have to make plans together, then it starts making sense. So that's basically what we do. And in the literature, it's called in a, uh, a little bit, uh, I think not so sympathetic way, uh, it's called, um, um, yeah, it doesn't look, um, serious gaming. So it, I think the, the, in the scientific literature, they try to stress that this is something serious. It's basically a, a game based on research where people come together to make choices. And Jay. So these are the cities we've been uh, developing games in the past 10 years. Um, they've been, uh, most of them localized in Western cities in Europe and uh, Turkey, but some of them also in Asia and Africa. And uh, the thing with this, uh, uh, well, the, 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 the topics we were playing on those cities are very localized. Um, now the question we ask ourselves is, could an uh, eco-city game uh, be relevant for a global scale? Yes, as, I mean, as you see, that's the, the games we normally usually uh, develop are, are really place-based. And, and I mean, in, in the sense that with mean, the Malaga's candidacy uh, asking about what will be the future of eco-cities, uh, it, it, it does uh, really make sense that middle-sized cities, uh, which where the real difference will be made, we, we hear a lot about mega-cities, uh, the middle cities where, middle-sized cities where a big difference will be made, so how a game can actually start looking at these topics and, and start uh, talking with um, with, with more um, than other, other than experts, and maybe before we move into Eco City, so we will make a demo. So we will play the few questions of the game later with you. Uh, it's good to mention the climate game that we developed in 2018 uh, with the city of Amsterdam. So what this game does is uh, basically together with the community, make climate action plans. It's, it's on the level of neighborhood. So after the Paris Agreement, uh, national plans, uh, regional strategic plans, and city goals, all these uh, top-down decisions end up in the neighborhoods and they have an impact. And the question is, how can we, together with the community, look at these measures, which ones are accepted with the community, and uh, which ones can be uh, uh, basically, in, in an integrated way, collaboratively developed into a plan? Um, but now for the, for, the Malaga, city, yeah. for the Malaga Expo, we developed this um, um, Eco City game, um, trying to find out if we can learn from each other's cities. So actually, what are the challenges that every city in every part of the world are facing are different. So as uh, some countries have uh, too lack of water, some other ones have too much water. So how can we learn from each other and create collaborations that are meaningful? Yeah, I mean, the challenge, I mean, we, we know how to make location-based game, but the challenge is how can you make a game that still will make sense for the whole the globe, right? And, and there are obviously, uh, I mean, it, it needs to be a digital game, but it also needs to look at the, the themes that, uh, uh, well, uh, probably I think you, you, you are familiar with mo most of these global reports. So we started diving into the, the world planet of uh, all these uh, global reports. And what we have seen basically is that there are themes. I mean, you see that actually teams are also even competing with each other, like the water, energy, uh, food, etc. But then I think when you when you step over that, you start realizing how interconnected every question is. How how do you actually understand the complexity? Understanding if you talk about energy, that also relates to water. When you talk about water, that also relates to food, etc. And this is also the way I think we started structuring the game. Um, Indeed. So this is the structure of the game, as you mentioned. 
Uh, at the moment, we made a beta game for the Mala for the, for this period until June that we would like you to invite you to play through this um, um, QR code that you find in your folder. Um, so until June, we will be collecting data regarding two different themes of economy because we want to know how the challenges of the eco city will be. Um, it, will it be green growth or are we going to degrowth? So the, the, the discussions within the economic field are coming back in the game. And yeah, indeed. So and then we have different topics uh, on the human and non-human rights. And at the end, indeed, how are we gonna uh, run this uh, new eco city? So is it uh, what kind of governance? Uh, it's it's meaningful and, and mm -hmm. needed. Yeah, actually, so going through these themes, you actually are building eco city of the future. What sort of eco city? So it's very personalized. Depending on the choices you're making, you are telling us uh, what sort of eco city uh, uh, are you uh, after. And we 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 could actually ch like basically bring nine interrelated themes, as you see. Uh, also, game towards the end asks you to, if you were to design a game, or if you were to make, make the game, what sort of themes actually make are relevant for your own region. So that's also something we hope to, uh, as a as a data collect, to see what are the other themes that actually make sense. Maybe digitalization, heritage, other things that are not uh, in the game can be entered in the in the later phase. Um, I think this this slide shows in a way the the how how we have actually. Uh, uh, built the game, so you see, for example, the theme of energy. Um, what it does is it tries to sketch out the narrative. Huh? Like, okay, if you look at the energy, we can directly see how we are uh, in the current situation still so dependent uh, on fossil fuels and where, what are the resources, where do they go, how they are used. So, together with the uh, um, uh, narrative. Uh, on one side, we, we define it, uh, the, the challenge, and then we start asking you what would be your position, what would be the choice that you will make from your region, from your position, uh, to respond to this question, right? So you see, for example, a position in, uh, I think it's the G, <laughs> option G says passive building. So there is a position that says let's consume less energy, let's consume less in general. While uh, there is another uh, position, like in the E, it says, well, continue fossil fuels combined with new carbon capture. It's okay, business as usual, as long as we come up with uh, very s smart innovations. Or maybe as Play the City, we would not be behind it, but I mean, nuclear plants, maybe we have to combine it with the existing mix. You know? So there are, the positions come from different perspectives and hopefully also from different regions, not only the global north, but also global south cities. Everybody can play, so as soon as we start seeing the reactions from different parts of the world, we can see uh, which regions are having more tendency towards which, which solutions or which teams are making sense for, for their transition. Um, and there is, uh, in the option E, you see the other option, so there's always an open option that we did not come up with and you can uh, yourself propose. Uh, I really wanted to include this slide because during the research when we were making the game, uh, you really also see it's not only climate adaptation, it's also about climate justice. Uh, you know, that that's what we have to keep in mind every time. And I mean, this, this map basically shows energy use per, per, per person, and you really can see how a lot of the discussions around transition are not evenly distributed, how the world uh, is ba basically who are the influencers who are in being impacted from these questions? Che, what, what are we seeing here? Okay, so <laughs> this is important. Uh, what are you winning with this game? Actually, you win a lot of knowledge, maybe. Uh, you learn something, but you also create uh, a vision of your city that we visualize this way. So this is the end uh, you will get on your phone when you create your city. It's, um, it's a visualization of, in this case, for instance, a player have played the uh, degrowth economy eco city. So we, he believed that the uh, degrowth, degrowth economy can be only achieved through an eco dictatorship uh, <laughs> type of uh, governance. So it's a radical choice. We That's, should stop growing, maybe even shrinking, and we should do it through top down decision making. Right. We have no time to wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there are different options, obviously. So as you play, you will get your personalized outcome as you play the game. Yeah. 
And uh, here we start a little bit uh, extrapolating on the game. Huh? Uh, imagine you guys play the game today and you send it to any of your friends the link. They also play. So we start reaching out to the whole world, the Malaga Expo game being played. Uh, and then we start seeing di different intentions, different tendencies, different uh, needs for different kind of knowledge. And then eventually the data that we collect from the game can actually feed into the next phase of the Malaga Expo, where we can start seeing, oh, maybe there are these countries or these regions who need to focus on this topic, you know, it's, then you start actually getting the intelligence of the game, hopefully uh, feed into the next phase of the, of the Malaga Expo candidacy. Um, Jay, that's for you. So, right, yeah, the powerful of this game is that if you are going to play it, uh, if here we are here with 80 different type of countries, uh, probably more people will play than the people on the audience at the moment. So at the end we will have a big data set of what are the priority uh, solutions that uh, different countries are choosing in uh, each theme of the game, so energy. So, so for the clarity, this is just a speculation we made. Yeah, Imagine right. we collect the data, this how, how we will we actually want... visualize. So this right. is, we are for the first time showing the game here, it's not played by anyone yet. So <laughs> <laughs> That's so, the way we would like to visualize and share. So, um, of course, everything is anonymous, so your name doesn't show, so it, but, yeah, but exactly. it gives an, uh, an idea of what is the tendency in each uh, So we will start visualizing them. So it starts today. It will remain online until end of June. As you play, we start, I think, by the end of, let's say, April, we start visualizing these outcomes. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I think maybe in the next phase, if, uh, if, if let's say with Malaga, we can go through the uh, really actually making things happen, the game can actually be also localized, you know, that you can see while well, different countries collaborating or working around uh, certain issues that for them uh, is really important and relevant uh, mm -hmm. through the game later. And we don't want to go away before you play it with you. So what we did is, this is not the game itself. So the, the game the game really is here. So we want you to go to this link. Uh, but to be able to play live with you now, we will ask you to scan uh, this QR code on your phones. And then uh, bear with us with two questions. We will just demo two questions of the game. Um, uh, is it working? And can you raise your hand if you see if you're on the right website? OK. You just have to scan the, 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 the QR code on the... I will do that as well. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, I have to say that one, when, you when you start choosing uh, the results of these uh, questions, I start seeing them in my screen. It's a pity. Maybe we, we can turn it around. We cannot then. share it in the big uh, one, but I can share it here. So. so the question goes like this. Which economic model will you adapt in your eco city? So is, will it be green growth? And the green growth is the actually SDG goals are based on that. So we can actually keep growing as we uh, start innovating in a smart way. Or as some people start, uh, let's say, criticizing this view, saying that, well, we have to really stop growth. Uh, that's the only way to uh, start, uh, um, let's say, the, the, the stop the environmental damage. And there's also this that the third layers, let's say, that's the post-growth guys. Or if you say, well, I have another model, uh, then you can also do that. I think uh, if everyone is, uh, I want, I'm curious. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Is everyone ready, or you you, you need to you need around, like around thirty people? Ten. Okay. Now? Maybe. Okay. What is the ready? The, what is the tendency? I think. What do you think is winning? I was thinking green growth. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Most growth is also following, but uh, indeed the most uh, the majority. Yes. Yeah, so the SDG goals are winning here. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think maybe we can move on to the, let's say, the governance question. Yeah. And in, in this one, um, yeah, the picture is actually from uh, the Climate Council of, uh, of Macron, but maybe uh, <laughs> not the right day today. <laughs> um, um, so the, the basically the, the, the dilemma is um, uh, 
how do you think the decisions or the transition is made in terms of the governance? Do you see that, well, the only effective way to, you know, to, to move to the next phase is making as much as top-down decisions as possible? We see uh, in different regimes like China how things sometimes can move really fast or you say, well, well we, we, maybe it's a little bit slow, but you know, once we have the majority, we can have, we are strong, we can just do that. Or you think, well, we need more innovations. I think these are the three options, or of course, the third option is up to you. In the type form version, you can enter your version. I think in, in this version, you cannot do it. Um, curious what's happening. Uh -huh. Well, it's... Uh... It's evening out. I expect the, the innovations, but uh, I don't know, the democratic innovations or... Yeah, I'm, uh, well, more direct. More, I don't know. It depends. On, I'm curious what sort of public do we play with. So. I think you are kind of right. Although there is one person who thinks there is another solution which is not mapped. Here. Yeah, maybe we can <laughs> we can ask who is the 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 the, 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 f the other model that we did not come up with. <laughs> can you raise your hand? You can if you say you're the other uh, model. Maybe two persons are <laughs> yeah, or two thinking persons. a different. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe if you're a little bit shy to explain your model here today to everyone, you can, in type form, you can actually enter that. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I think well, I will move on to our. So, ah, yeah. The, by the way, the winner is radical democracy. Okay. We, need, we need more innovations for direct democracy, not only decide together, but also implement and make things happen. All right. Um, I think. This, this version is the one with, with more questions that the teams that we showed you, energy, transport, etc. So I think that requires really, if you have the time a little bit on your desktop, you know, and then there's a lot of research we have done to be able to make the game happen. The most important reports, the latest one, the good speakers, links within the game that you can go. So we will really advise you to do this on your desktop. You still can do it. It works on, on your mobile. It, I mean, it, it, it really works also on your mobile, but I, I prefer, let's say, to take the time. I also advise you to do that. Um, we are really curious. So also in the, in, the, in, in the game, you will see where you can find the results. So we will also, if you want to be in contact with us, we email you the, the outcomes, for example. You can leave your email so we can reach you again. Thank you. And share it with your friends, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Social media, share it so we can have thousands of players and we are really curious to the outcomes. Yes. <laughs>